I'm finally uploading this video. Um, it's been over a month since I straightened my hair, but I had an eye photo crash, so some of the footage may look a little pixelated or damaged, but for the most part, it all looks great. But you will get a lot out of this video. I'm gonna show you how my hair reverted back, the tension method for blow drying, all of the heat protectants, the flat iron I chose, the method, and my first trim by a professional since I've been natural. I've been trimming my own hair for the past three years. So guys, enjoy the video. Just a few things I think you should know before you decide to straighten your hair. Make sure you deep condition your hair and know that hair burns at 451 degrees so make sure you use a temperature much lower than that and especially if you have fine hair because fine hair is um, more sensitive to heat or if your hair is already damaged or if you already have an excessive heat regimen but know that your hair could be damaged on the first try of using heat heat is a personal choice i'm not condoning anyone to put heat into their regimen it was my choice to straighten my hair i would like to start by showing you how my hair reverted back i put in some deep conditioner in four sections bagged it for about an hour got in the shower rinsed and my curls came back immediately if my hair wouldn't have reverted back i would have done a video on heat damage and what you should not do when you flat iron your hair this is the back oh my hair feels good and look no stringy ends front now i have some really loose hair in the front already so i wouldn't call that heat damage it's just always been loose and i'll probably post some pictures so that you can see this up here has always been looser than the rest but still there's no stringy hair like i said there are parts of my hair that have always been loose i have like i said i have like three textures in my hair so if anything looks look looser than the rest i wouldn't consider that heat damage but i'm looking for pieces that are straight and stringy look 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 see curls 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 and again my front section it's always been looser than the rest Time to talk about the blowout. Make sure your hair is nice and clean. This is the blow dryer that I used. Um, I used the tension method, therefore I'm not using the comb attachments that came with this blow dryer. I used Carol's Daughter Macadamia Heat Styling Hairspray 450 degree protection. And remember I told you hair burns at 451 degrees which is the same as paper I used clamps to separate my hair into sections and my hair is already sectioned off into twists that um, I did from my breakdown method I use the breakdown method and I will uh, post a link to those videos in the description box therefore my hair is already detangled my ends are my hair is sealed with the leave-in conditioner and a light oil I chose jojoba oil my hair I let it dry for a while so my hair is damp I'm not doing it on soaking wet hair I'm going to spray the heat protectant and I'm going to rub it through before I blow dry it and when I take the blow dryer I'm just going to work it up and down my hair slowly I'm going to start with a medium heat to kind of start to dry it and then I will um, press the cool shot button after I've used the medium heat I never use high heat when I'm blow drying my hair. So you do this to each section, basically holding on to the end to cause tension and to stretch the hair out. So whenever it's getting kind of dry, it's all my hair is already detangled, but I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to make sure that it um, is just to detangle it a little more. So after I've done that, I'm going to dry it a little more, but I'm not going to let my hair get completely dry. I'm going to get it as close as possible. I'm still going to let there still be a little moisture in there, if you understand what I'm saying. I'd say make sure it's between 80% to 90% dry. clamps a comb and you also need a brush and this is the brush that I use during my breakdown method series and if you want more information on it I will post a link in the description box 
I chose to purchase the IPAC Argon Infusion Styling Iron and as you can see here there's a chamber and in that chamber it holds a heat protecting solution. I purchased the flat iron for $69.99 at Sally's Beauty Supply and it came with a bottle of the solution and an extra chamber. And what I like about it is that it is focused on heat protective styling and the solution is supposed to act as a heat protectant that comes through the vented plates and it also has temperature control settings which I find very very important with flat ironing your hair. Here you can see the vents, the um, holes in the plates for the steam to come through and there's also a dial for you to control the steam options. I kept the temperature at 375. Um, I felt that my hair could handle it because it's thick and I don't use heat excessively in my regimen. All hair is not created equally so if you have finer hair or if you have um, use heat in your reg regimen more regularly that may not be the temperature setting for you. Um, again personal preference and I also unplugged the flat iron halfway through doing my hair to let it cool down and then I restarted it again at 375. This is my first time really pressing my hair. When you see steam, don't think that, it, or when you see smoke, don't think that it's uh, burning. It's actually steam coming from this iron. This is an eye pack. It has an argon infusion uh, solution that goes into the flat iron that acts as a heat protectant. And I already have heat protectant on my hair. And um, yeah, so I don't think it's burning my hair. I'm going to separate my hair in sections and I'm going to straighten each section. Okay, so I'm about to put my hair into four sections. Okay, now that my hair is in sections, I'm going to create smaller sections using a rat tail off of a um, brush that I used to use for relaxers. So anything with a pointy end, use that to separate your hair into smaller sections. And what I'm going to do is brush that section out and then I'm going to do one stroke with the flat iron over that piece of hair. So I'm just going to do one stroke and then I'm going to comb that part out. And what I'm going to do is attach my comb to that piece of hair, that section of hair, and then I'm going to go over it one more time, gliding the comb down, basically detangling and straightening at the same time. And that's it. That's what I do all over my hair. And I'm halfway through with my hair and I'm going to show you that one more time. So this is my last section. I'm going to brush through it. I'm going to take one stroke over my hair. And again, that's not burning my hair. The smoke you see, that is actually the heat protectant from the flat iron. So I'll go over that section. I'm going to comb it out again. And then I'm going to attach the comb to that uh, section of hair and I'm going to um, do it one more time go over my hair again with the flat iron and the comb detangling making sure it's nice and straight and that is it it is now complete that was my last my last section and voila uh, enjoy a few clips of me playing with my straight hair Remember to stay tuned for um, my first trim by a professional after three years. Okay, time for the trim. If you look at my face, I look a little nervous, but this is a very good family friend that used to do my hair whenever I was younger and um, even though we're not in the shop she is a licensed professional and she came over she's so sweet and I asked her to trim my hair while it was this straight and she's not a scissor happy stylist and I'm very very thankful for that and um, I told her I wasn't worried about my hair being in any type of layers or being even all around I just said I wanted 
um, a nice trim because I'm going to start documenting my journey to waist length hair and I wanted to start with a professional trim so uh, look for those videos in the future and I'm gonna see how long it would take me to get to waist length and I hope you enjoy my flat iron tutorial I hope it helps some of you out that have been deciding or debating whether or not you want to flat iron your hair I'm glad I escaped heat damage free I'm not going to flat iron my hair again maybe for another six months or another year um, thank you for all of those who watch our channel for more videos if you have not already please subscribe we're also on Facebook and Tumblr Thank you guys and God bless.